Hi, good afternoon, everybody. This is Rick Severson, Vice President of Solutions Engineering at Stratodesk. Today, I'm also going to have with me Richard Monroe, who's one of the solutions engineers at Stratodesk as well. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about taking advantage of No Touch OS, No Touch Center, and VMware. And we're going to talk about the adoptability and how you can deploy these tools with ease, basically making hands off deployability of No Touch OS across various platforms whether they be x86, x64, and be able to repurpose or reprovision those devices from say Windows 7, Windows 10, to making them a fantastic, easily manageable device or platform using Horizon VDI, okay? So with that, let's talk a little bit about what is Stratodesk. So Stratodesk, effectively, we have two products or two main platforms, No Touch OS, and no touch OS is an operating system built by Stratodesk that's designed to be high performance, secure, targeted towards the VDI and browser-based platforms and applications. With that, we can take that OS and we can put that OS across x86 or x64 platforms as mentioned before. And by the way, it happens to come with a really fantastic management platform called No Touch Center. No Touch Center is a virtual appliance that you can deploy from the VMware marketplace. You can deploy it within your cloud. And of course we deliver and make it available as an OVA file that you can do all, deploy within your VMware environment as well. So with no touch center and no touch OS, you can manage those endpoint devices and reconfigure them, manage them, support them as you might expect within your enterprise environment. Also, you can have the ability to provision their collaboration tools, whether it be for Teams optimization, Zoom optimization, the VDI plugins for VMware. So with Richard, we're going to do a quick demo at the end of this. And with that demo, let me walk you real quick what we're going to do. So what effectively what Richard has done is he's built an imaging environment where he's going to be able to take a gold image of NoTouch OS with the environment or the management tool, be able to push that image out to a device, repurpose an existing PC to be NoTouch OS. When the device reboots, it's going to automatically perform some magic, if you will, I guess, based on automatic assignment, automatic enrollment, et cetera. So effectively from a user perspective, the only thing the user would see is they'd see a package is available for them to deploy. When they start to begin that deployment process, all the way automation is gonna run underneath. The next thing the user is gonna see is their Horizon login dialog box. They would log in and get their Horizon session. So what that does is it makes it for administrators to have truly hands-off deployability or ease of adoption to be able to take and repurpose existing machines to a Horizon VDI environment. Hope that helps. With that, Richard, you about ready to take over? Thanks, Rich. So what we've got here, we've created uh, task sequences in SCCM. Uh, we've created a, a boot whim using a gold uh, Stratodesk image, um, built an endpoint using uh, the Stratodesk OS went through the install, turned the machine off. And we created a, the task sequence here. And what we're going to do is deploy, and I have already done this, deploy the task sequence out to the um, endpoint, our Windows 7 device, um, run uh, Software Center on the uh, Windows 10 device. Once Software Center sees the um, task sequence, we'll see the OS on there, uh, Stratodesk OS. Uh, this is a manual process. We'll click install. Um, the device will go through um, and do a Windows um, conversion from Windows 10 to Stratodesk. So Richard, real quick, I want to point out one thing. You did say that uh, it is important when you do that to make sure that you do not reboot, but only shut down. Is that correct? Yes. So what we'll do is we'll switch over to our Windows 10 device and run uh, Software Center. And you'll notice since we've already deployed this out and created a collection in Software Center, we have the starter disk in place upgrade. And like I mentioned, this is a manual process just for demonstration. You can have that task sequence um, do this all automated. Um, so we'll go ahead and click install. And what this is gonna do uh, it's going to get it's going to gather all the uh, task sequence do first do a reboot and then after this reboots it will do um, the install of no touch OS. So Richard so right now the device is going through the process it's pulling down the package it's pulling down the ISO and it's going to about ready to begin the process 
of re-imaging this machine to be a no-touch OS machine versus Windows 7 or Windows 10. So with that, while that's taking place, can we take a look at your no-touch center? And let's talk about the automation processes that we're going to use to have the device auto-assign into no-touch center, automatically receive its configuration. Once it receives that configuration, it's going to reboot. And once it reboots, it's going to come back up. So the next thing, realistically, the user is going to see is the fact that that device is now running no-touch OS. And it's going to be pre-configured with the horizon connection and settings. And with that, the next thing the user will see will be the user login dialog box. So real quick, Richard, if you would just click on my setting or my device, the group settings for the automatic yeah. assignment. And you can see here, so no, anything running no touch OS, what it does is it on boot will try to resolve TCMDR. So again, that machine's going through the process of re-imaging. It's going to boot back up using DNS TCMGR. It's going to automatically enroll itself into Richard's no touch center management platform, which you're looking at right now. Once it does that, so it's going to auto enroll based on the IP assignment, it's going to automatically group itself, automatically retrieve that configuration and be ready to go. Yeah, and as you can see, as you were talking through that, Rich, it's already, you know, presented itself into a no touch center. It's already done its configuration. It's doing its second reboot now. Um, so I can switch back over to that device. And now we've got a, a fully configured um, no touch uh, started desk device that has uh, your VMware connection. And you can see it's automatically launching, going to go right into our desktop, ready for the end user to uh, start their day. So again, so if you think about what just occurred, using SCCM, building a Strata desk package and installer package, you can push that package out to the device, an existing device, whether it's running Windows 7, Windows 10, or other OS for that matter. It's going to receive the no touch OS. It's going to automatically enroll into no touch center using TCMGR. Based on the enrollment into no touch center, it's going to retrieve its configuration, configure itself, get your horizon connection, and automatically launch the connection. So what that does is that gives you the ability to have hands-off deployability of no touch OS to existing devices that you can now repurpose to be Horizon VDI clients. 